Hi, David. How's it going today? Hey, Sarah. I'm good. Thanks. How about you? I'm doing well. Thanks. So, what did you do this morning? Well, I woke up at seven o'clock. After that, I brushed my teeth and took a shower. Then I had breakfast around eight. That sounds nice. I woke up at six thirty. After brushing my teeth, I went for a quick run around the neighborhood. That's great. I should try to exercise more in the morning too. After breakfast, I usually check my emails and prepare for work. Yeah, I like to get some work done in the morning too. I usually start studying around nine o'clock. What about you, David? What do you do for work? I work in an office as a receptionist. My work starts at nine thirty. I greet visitors, answer phone calls, and do some paperwork. That sounds interesting. I have classes in the morning until noon. After that, I take a break for lunch. Same here. I have my lunch break around twelve thirty. Sometimes I bring my own lunch, but other times I go out to eat with my colleagues. After my classes, I usually grab lunch with my friends too. It's nice to take a break and catch up with them. Definitely, after lunch, I usually have more work to do at the office. I handle more phone calls and help with scheduling appointments. In the afternoons, I usually have some free time. Sometimes I go to the library to study. Or just relax at home and watch TV. That sounds like a nice way to unwind. After work, I usually head straight home. I'm usually pretty tired by then. Yeah, I can imagine. After my afternoon activities, I head home too. Sometimes I cook dinner. Other times I order takeout. I prefer cooking at home too. It's healthier and saves money. What time do you usually have dinner? I usually have dinner around seven o'clock. After dinner, I like to read or listen to music before going to bed. I usually have dinner a bit later, around eight. After dinner, I watch some TV or play video games for a while. That sounds like a relaxing way to end the day. I usually go to bed around ten thirty. What about you? I'm a bit off a night owl. I usually go to bed around eleven thirty or midnight. Well, it was nice chatting with you, David. So, Sarah, besides your classes and studying, what else? Do you enjoy doing during the day? Well, David, I'm quite fond of going for walks in the park, especially in the afternoons when the weather is nice. It's a great way for me to clear my mind and get some fresh air. That sounds lovely. I also enjoy spending time outdoors. Sometimes after work. I take a stroll around my neighborhood just to relax and unwind before heading home. It's amazing how a simple walk can make such a difference, isn't it? Absolutely. And speaking of unwinding, do you have any evening rituals or activity that help you relax before bedtime? Yes, I do. After dinner. I like to indulge in some light reading or listen to soothing music. It helps me to distress and prepare for a good night's sleep. That sounds like a peaceful way to end the day. I find that watching a funny sitcom or listening to a comedy podcast helps me unwind before hitting the sack. 
Laughter is indeed a great way to relax. It releases tension and puts you in a positive frame of mind. Exactly, and it's essential to wind down properly to ensure a restful night's sleep. Well, David, it's been wonderful chatting with you about our daily activities and routines. Likewise, Sarah. It's always fascinating to learn about how others structure their days and what brings them joy and relaxation. Definitely, I think understanding each other's daily habits helps to deepen our connection and empathy towards one another. Absolutely, and it also gives us ideas and inspiration. For incorporating new activities and rituals into our own lives. Well said, David. Let's continue to share and learn from each other as we navigate through our daily routines. Agreed, Sarah. Here's to meaningful conversations and enriching experiences ahead. Definitely. Take care, David. You too, Sarah. Bye.